Iran's Minister of Communications and Information Technology Issa Zarapur who posted the images on his Instagram account, wrote this is the first time that a homegrown satellite has sent back higher resolution true color images. He lauded the achievement despite sanctions imposed on the country, saying that currently Iran has the technology to develop, launch and place satellites in Earth orbits and succeeded in using satellite technology. IRGC launched now or two into a low Earth orbit, LEO, nearly two years after the launch of its first military satellite. The homegrown satellite was launched with a three-stage satellite carrier, dubbed KAST, Messenger, from a launch pit in Dashti Kavar, a large desert in central Iran. Nauer 2 satellite is expected to carry out a range of military and civilian missions in Iran, including reconnaissance and natural disaster response operations. Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi's renewed emphasis on space is already beginning to bear fruit. Since the first meeting of the Supreme Space Council in more than 10 years last November Iran has conducted three satellite launch attempts and revealed a new solid fuel motor for space launch vehicles, SLVs. Many commentators see these activities purely through the lens of Iran's ballistic missile development, but Iran has ambitious space launch goals that go far beyond developing rockets. A more comprehensive look at Iran's space launch efforts and the challenges it will face in the years ahead gives a more nuanced picture of the military threats these activities may pose to the West in the future. What are Iran's space launch goals? What is Iran trying to achieve with its space launches? First, both through its national space program and a parallel program of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, Iran wants to launch satellites to various orbits and then operate them for both civilian and military purposes. Second, as a separate, lower priority goal, Iran's national space program also aims to launch an Iranian astronaut to orbit. Third, as highlighted by governments and analysts, Iran may intend to use technological advancements from its SLV development and launches, especially large solid rocket motors, to develop intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs. Achieving any and all of these goals will require Iran to conduct many space launches in the coming months and years. Since its start in the 2000s, the National Space Program, run by the Iranian Space Agency ISA, has laid out ambitious space launch goals as a central element of Iran's space technology cycle, Charkiyi Fanavariyi Fazai, which includes the development of satellites, SLVs, launch sites, and satellite ground stations. These goals include the development, launch, and use of increasingly capable remote sensing, communications, and navigation satellites for both civilian and military applications. This requires not only placing satellites in low Earth orbit, LEO, but also launching satellites to 36,000 km geostationary orbit, GEO. Separate from its satellite efforts, the ISA also plans to conduct several launches in support of its Humans to Space Ensign Bifaza, effort to launch Iranian astronauts to orbit. Reinvigorated by President Raisi in recent months, the national program's current focus is to stabilize the launch and presence of satellites in LEO as soon as possible and to take steps to place a satellite in GEO by the Persian year 1404 which ends in March 2026. According to Iranian space officials, the ISA plans to operate remote sensing satellites in LEO, for example, to monitor Iran's natural resources, disasters, and pollution, navigation satellites in LEO, and communications satellites in GEO.
Iranian space officials have stated that GEO is a strategic orbit and key to Iran's success in the economic, military, and security fields. Separately, as part of its astronaut program, the ISA aims to launch an astronaut aboard an Iranian rocket into orbit by the Persian year 1410, which ends in March 2032, for reasons such as joining the world's space powers, creating national pride and showing Iran's scientific and technological progress, studying human life in space, and achieving technologies for space exploration. In parallel to the national program, for years the IRGC has implemented its own space efforts under a super project, Abar Paraza, with the goal of developing its own satellites, SLVs, ground stations, and a satellite control center. Like the national program, the IRGC has also highlighted its goals of placing satellites in both LEO and GEO orbits. In addition, analysts have highlighted concerns that the IRGC's SLV efforts may also be intended to develop ICBMs. In addition to civilian aims, both the national and IRGC space programs have acknowledged military goals for their space launch efforts. As part of the national program, Iran's current and previous defense ministers have highlighted plans to use Iranian satellites for military reconnaissance, communications, and navigation as well as for tracking the positions of space systems. For its part, the IRGC has stated plans to use satellites for military reconnaissance, communications, and navigation. These civilian and military goals appear to have taken on increased urgency due to Iran's concerns over losing access to LEO due to overcrowding and to GEO by not acquiring orbital slots assigned by the International Telecommunications Union. Thus, the race is on for Iran to deliver satellites to LEO and GEO, not just to achieve its civilian and military goals, but also to avoid the perceived closing window of orbital access.